Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to the Heavy Doodle YouTube channel. Today's card is going to use fairly limited crafty supplies. So if you're a beginner crafter, this might be a really great video for you. And I'm going to show you some of the basic crafting supplies that I use. And really exciting news is that Heffy Doodle on their site have got Craft Room Essentials, that little tab there on their website where they've got a lot of Craft Room Essentials. So make sure you go there and have a look. And they also have a new card making kit. So that'll give you some essentials as well, like card and a little ink and stuff like that. So really go and have a look at that. Today I'm going to use two stamp sets from Heffy Doodle, the Big Bold Words and Hello Squeak Heart. And I'm going to obviously use these two stamp sets. Oh, and the little one as well called Muniverse, which I'll show you later on. I also have used some circle punches, which you may already have in your set, in your crafty supplies, sorry. Or you can use some circle dies, which are a really, really handy thing to have in your crafting essentials. These are a particular brand, but there's quite a few out there. So do your research and obviously you can use these all over your card whereas a punch you can only really use around the edge of your card so really handy to have and the basics I've used today on this card. The other thing is some white embossing powder and I keep my white embossing powder in this container with a spoon and then I can sprinkle it on and tap off the excess so that's a good idea as well. I've used extreme black ink but there's memento tuxedo black which you can also use and that's on the heavy doodle site and there's a versamark ink as well that I use a lot so that's quite handy to have and my Milwaukee heat gun which I have had now for it would have to be about 19 years and it's amazing but there's a few brands on the market so again do your research but a heat tool's an essential for melting your embossing powder. The uh, acrylic blocks are of course are basic as well and these are what I started stamping with and they're great I still use them to this day for a lot of my stamping you put your stamp on cover it in ink and then stamp down like that but the real game changer for my stamping was a stamp positioner it is an investment but oh my gosh I had so much more success with my stamping you get a much even more even stamp you don't get the smudges you can stamp a number of times oh my gosh there's so much advantage to having a stamp positioner this one's a misty mini misty but please do your research again if you're interested in stamp positioners now i've used copics to color with today and my absolute favorites are the cool grays uh, c3 c5 and c7 and also the warm grays again in w3 w5 w7 and they are so handy for coloring elephants, for coloring mice, for coloring dogs, cats, hippos, quite a few different critters. They're really, really great. So they're my go-to Copic colors and really handy to have. I'm going to use craft card and a yellow cardstock today. The yellow cardstock had a bit of a texture to, to the top, which I quite liked. Um, and so I'm going to stamp out my happy birthday from the Big Bold Word set using my Versa Mark ink. And as I said, it doesn't give a completely clear stamp and the embossing sort of looks a little patchy, but I actually liked that look. So I'm just using my Versa Mark ink to get a good coating on the stamp. And I've used my original Misty to stamp this one out just because that card was a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to cover that in white embossing powder and heat set it with my heat gun but you can see I just pick it up sprinkle it on and then tap off the excess back into the container so I've heat set that and I've used my punches to punch holes out of my card and I do apologize I didn't have my video running while I did all of this so I'm just having to explain it post doing it so as I said I used my circle punches but you could use um, circle dies and I use my craft knife to cut out the middle of the letters now I've stamped out my little mice and the cat from the Muniverse set with my Copic Friendly ink and I'm just using my acrylic block to stamp out the tails. I sometimes find that when I'm doing multiples of tiny little things it's easier on an acrylic block. Now I'm going to use my Copic Copics to colour in the little mice and I'm using my W Copics, my warm greys there. Now I would say go to YouTube and have a look at some Copic colouring videos and there's a couple of different ways of doing it. I would try it out, give it a go and see which suits you best um, technique wise 
and yeah they're really really fun to play with the Cobix and as I said these greys you will get so much use out of so they are good ones to start with and I would buy them in a in threes um, so that you get three colours that you can blend or that blend quite nicely together. Um, so just going through and colouring in my little mice with the W greys, the warm greys, and then I coloured my cat with the cool greys to finish off. And then I just did a little cheeks and um, things with, the, with an R20, a light pink, and used a gel pen to put a little white dot on there as well just for finishing finishing touches. Now my dies, I don't always separate dies, I sometimes just trim around my image, stick it behind the die with a bit of washi tape and then cut them out like that. I find I lose less dies when I keep them all together, <laughs> so that's a handy tip. Just using a little black pen to join the tail to the rest of the mouse, the mouse body there. And now I'm going to put a darker bit of yellow card behind that front piece. I'm going to use 3D foam to lift it up off that piece a little so that I can poke my little mice in, in the holes. Just remove the backing and then stick that onto that yellow piece so that it looks like darker holes in the cheese. Just get right over the top and get the angle right and then press lightly down. And then I'm just going to glue that onto my card front and glue all my little um, critters on, my little mice and my cat and things like that in the holes. That is the card. So I hope you enjoyed it. And please do hop over to the Heffy Doodle shop to check out the new Wingman card kit and the Craft Room Essentials. And I will see you next time.